Hello, my friend. Yes, it is I, the mightiest of the mighty, Lord Gameson. And today, we're going to be playing more Crash Bandicoot. We're going to be playing the Slippery Climb. We're going to be going up, up the slippery slopes of Slippery Climb Castle. Breaking the boxes. And going to all sorts of daring do fantasticisms. So yes, yes, here we are. This is like a cool little obstacle course that takes us up the castle. Dodging skeletons with their hands out. You know, everybody's got their hand out these days. Oh Lord Gamerson, give me all the money in the world. Lord Gamerson doesn't have all the money in the world. No, <laughs> no, no. No, you see, Lord Jameson gave away his fortune. Yes, yes, I gave it away to the people, the less fortunates. I started back out with nothing. I'm going to build my fortune again on this YouTube platform and other platforms making these fantastic videos. It's going to be fun. So yes, Lord Jameson starts out with nothing again. Playing the game, the game of fantasticism. Yes. And I just made my way to a checkpoint. Okay, cool. Those birds, those birds are pretty easy, aren't they? Okay, this part, this part makes me go up the stairs. But the stairs keep on going from under me, and if I don't get them on time, I get hit by these spikes. You gotta be very careful. You gotta be very careful when you climb the stairs on the slippery slopes of Slippery Slope Castle. Okay, here we go. Yes, very good, very good. Jumping, jumping, jumping like a champion. Yes, that's what Lord Gamerson is. Lord Gamerson is a champion. Oh, oh no! Ooh, Crash, Crash is an angel. But you know what? He was given a second chance. He has come back to life. Okay, to go back to the slippery castle. The slippery slopes. Here we are, getting very slippery. Are we getting slippery here, my friends? I think we are quite slippery. Look at us go. Oh, we jump up. We jump up like the champions of champions. Okay, get to the top. Oh no! Okay, here we are, yes, yes. Is there anything hidden there? Nope, nope, nothing hidden there. Okay, yep, let's make our way. That wasn't so hard. Okay, yeah, this crash gets all the apples. And after the day keeps the doctor away. And Crash eats a lot more than one apple. Crash eats all the apples. How many apples a day does it keep to take all the doctors away? Well, you probably have to start throwing the apples at the doctors. Probably the best way to keep them away. Yes. Oh, this guy's playing Splatoon. Okay, here we go. Gotta make this jump just right here. Oh, the, the patterns on the movements. It almost seems a bit randomish. Okay, yeah. Made that jump nicely. Made that jump nicely. I must be getting close to the top. I'm not really climbing anymore. I'm just going to the side.
Oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Got your hand out, I see. <laughs> now that I look even closer, that's not a skeleton. That's a prisoner. Yes, yes. Very nice. Alright, excellent. Oh, here comes Splatoon, buddy, Splatoon. Hello, Splatoon. Haha, <laughs> yes. And that's it. That's it, my friends. Slippery slime. Slippery slime. There's slippery slime all over the slippery slope. Now, my friends, this looks like a very dark level. Very nice use of shadows. It looks like the, sh the floor is just shadowed. But no, no, there's pits. There's so many pits. No, not Brad Pit. Brad Pit is not in this game. No, no. You don't want to fall down these pits. You probably want to don't. You probably don't want to fall down Brad Pitt either. I'm heard that he's not such a nice guy when you fall right on top of him. No, no, he gets upset. Happened once time, happened one time during a movie, I suppose. Somebody fell on him. He wasn't happy about it. No, no. But who would be? Do you want somebody falling on top of you? I don't think so. Alright, here we go. We want to keep the lives in the dark, dark level of darkness. This level is so dark. Here we go. Through the catacombs. Down the narrow path of narrowness. Yes, my friend. This is indeed a narrow path. Look at the size of these rats. This must be under the streets of Paris. Yes. Oh no. Oh no! Alright, yes. You good, good, good. Excellent! Yes, no Jameson is doing marvelously, my friends. Marvelously! Just gotta dodge the giant blades as they blade their way around the level. But they can't blade through me. No, no. These blades will not get me. Except for that blade. That blade did get me. That blade is a bastard blade and we will destroy it. We will destroy the blade. And the blade's wife will weep. Yeah. No problem. Yes, easy, easy. Alright. Gotta keep going like this. That's the blade that cut me last time. Couldn't get me this time, though. Aha! Success! Okay, here we go. We are now deep, deep in the catacombs in the jaws of darkness. Where there are snakes. Snakes around every corner. And giant spiders. Snakes and spiders. Very scary, very terrifying, very poisonous. You've got to be careful, my friends. Careful deep within the catacombs. Oh, man, creatures lurk down there. 
all sorts of creatures. Some of them are up here too, but not, not in their original form. Oh no. You better watch out, my friends. But the underground creatures, they do come to the surface. If you ever see them in their original form, chances are you won't live through the experience. You've probably met one of their many, many human hosts. They're everywhere. If you haven't met them, then I'm sure you've seen them on TV. That is, if you watch TV. If you've watched any TV, you've surely seen them. They indeed are a truly frightening experience. Watch your eyes, my friends. Watch your eyes. They will come for them. But that's all Lord Gamerson is saying about that right now. Lord Gamerson is playing Crash Bandicoot. Oh boy, that, that is indeed a hard series of jokes. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, jumping on the spikers. Dodging the spikers. Bikes. You're not careful. If you're just trying to rush through those levels, these levels, you know, those bikes that come out of the wall will get you. You've got to be careful. Just don't run through it. Oh, jeez. Maybe something like that will happen. When you turn into a pancake, a crash pancake. Oh, well, that indeed does take a bit of memorization, doesn't it, my friend? It does indeed! Oh. Oh. Okay. I guess I get a chance to do that memorization as I go back. I'll probably do that section again. Oh, jeez. Okay. These jumps aren't very forgiving, are they? Oh, God! Oh my. Oh my. Yes, yes, going along the spike. Getting hit by the spikes. These flames aren't gonna get the mighty one. Oh, what's over there? Looks like there's probably something over there. There's also nothing over there. I'm not taking a leap of faith. No, no. Ooh, can I get that? Look like it. Yes! Excellent. Oh, come on! No! Alright. This is Lord Gamerson's last life. Attention is mounting, my friends. Lord Gamerson has to be very careful now. No more running. Oh, it's funny how when I just say that I can hit. Now I've got nothing. The, my masked friend has left me. Get no more hits. Game over is looming across the corner. Gotta be careful. Very, very careful. Oh, wait. there's, there's, oh. 25 more apples. I get myself an extra life. Or I can just beat the level like a champion. Well, I'm sure one of those two things will happen. Hey, look, I got all my girlfriend's eggs. Excellent. Here we go, into the furnace level. Getting more apples. More apples means I get an extra life. Very, very nice, yes.
Gotta get away from those explosions. You don't want to get too close to them. Get well, they really need to explain it. I got all the boxes! All of them, all 23 of them, and I'm back in the jaws of darkness. And it's gaping mob horror. Alright, come on. Run! Run, Crash! You can do it! I know you can! Yes! Okay, here's the end. We made it to the end! Oh no, I'm getting beaten by boxes again. How many boxes are going to beat me up this time? Oh, so many boxes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! 60 boxes. Oh, 62 boxes. Ah, yes, here we go. Oh, such a long fall. Oh, what is going on over here? I don't know if you guys hear this noise. It sounds like somebody's wrestling plastic bags. Well, it turns out that Lord Gamerson's cat has got a plastic bag stuck to her. How did that happen? Is there some tape on the bag? Lord Gamerson is just... Lord Gamerson needs a moment. He's just gonna go help out the poor, poor little kitty who has a bag stuck to her. Oh my, she's very skittish. <laughs> oh, little kitty. You are a nice little kitty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, your tail's all puffy. <laughs> yes. You're yes, such a cute kitty. Lord Gamerson loves you. Okay, back to the game. Oh, boy. We are dodging all the red. All the red pipes. Because the red pipes are bad. Blue pipes are also bad. Because they're being controlled by Dr. Neil Cortex, but the blue pipes don't hurt you. Basically, if it's being controlled by Dr. Neil Cortex, it's bad. If it's being controlled by Crash Bandicoot, well, it's good. And it's better to have good things, my friend, than bad things. So listen to Lord Gamerson and fill your lives with good things. And don't fill it with bad things. Sounds like the simplest advice in the world. And it is. Just do it! Yes! Oh no, don't jump on that trampoline. <laughs> oh, you're having a lot of fun with the bag now, aren't you? Oh, what a cute little sneeze. Yes. Yes, I don't know. Lord Gamerson is just, you know, Lord Gamerson's cats is doing funny things. You know, cute, making lots of noise. But I suppose that's what that's do, yes, yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm jumping on all of the boxes. And then I die. See, you don't want to, you want to be careful when you're jumping on boxes. Death is not a goal. No, no, you want to avoid the death. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's try that again. I wonder if that's the same ooze that turned the Ninja Turtles into the Ninja Turtles. Because, you know, the Ninja Turtles, when they started out, they were just little turtles. Like any little turtle. And then came the ooze, like that green slime in the background. And then they mutated. Because, you know, anything radioactive like in green will turn you into something else. Just ask Bruce Banner. Or Bruce Jenner. Oh no, I don't get cancelled for that one. 
was just a joke, people. <laughs> a little joke. Oh. Yes. Yes, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot. What are you doing? Even the air hurts you. This must be some dangerous air. Uh-oh. There's a bug thing on there. Oh, it doesn't matter. The level is beat. The day is won. Victory is mine. And the boxes still hurt me.
Hey guys, it's me, the Sega Kid, and yeah, I'm going to be playing more Sonic the Hedgehog. This is my favorite game series of all time. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's got an attitude. Sonic, he is the fastest thing alive. That's right, baby. Sonic the Hedgehog all the way. I'm wearing my Sonic the Hedgehog pajamas. I'm wearing my Sonic the Hedgehog baseball cap. I've got my Sonic the Hedgehog action figures. I've got everything Sonic the Hedgehog right beside me right now as I play Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog like baby, yeah, that's right. Sonic the Hedgehog like all the way. And we are going to be playing the Labyrinth Zone. The Labyrinth Zone is one of the most exciting levels in Sonic the Hedgehog. We get to go underwater, yes, underwater. And that's always lots of fun in Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, that's right, Sega like Kid likes the underwater level. A lot of people hate these levels so much, but actually I find them to be pretty fun. They're not really, really fast, like I really like. Like, um, you know, the Marble Zone kind of was, was a little bit on the annoying side, to tell you the truth, but the Labyrinth Zone, the Labyrinth Zone is a good way to do a water level, and let me show you why, because this, this level is just so much fun, there's so many, like, there's so many, like, little traps around here, you got all these spiky balls, it goes zoom, 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 and it's so much fun, and, oh, I, I, just all the dodging that you have to do, and look at that, all the time precision jumps, and now you gotta, like, on these like, little platforms and go all the way around this level and dodge these spikes because those spikes will hurt you. They'll hurt you bad, but you gotta find a switch. You gotta find a switch to open the doors. And you know what's on the other side of the door? It's freedom! It's freedom! And you are going to be free, free to play Sonic the Hedgehog any way you like, anytime you want. Just Sonic the Hedgehog all day long. Sonic the Hedgehog for breakfast, Sonic the Hedgehog for lunch, and Sonic the Hedgehog for dinner. Wouldn't you like Sonic the Hedgehog all day long? Maybe some Sonic the Hedgehog pancakes. Or some Sonic the Hedgehog toast. Yes, Sonic the Hedgehog toast. That's what I think I'm gonna go have right now. I'm gonna go make some Sonic the Hedgehog toast. Uh -huh, no I'm not. I'm gonna actually record this gameplay footage. And I'm going to talk about the fantastic world of Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, do you guys know that Urkel played Sonic the Hedgehog in the Sonic the Hedgehog version? You guys know who Urkel is, right? I mean, I know it's a future and all. 
But I'm sure Urkel is still well known because you know, Urkel was freaking crazy. Steve Urkel from the TV show Family Matters. He would always like, you know, he would always want lots of cheese and all you know, like, um, he would always go after this girl named Laura. But you know, Laura of course really wasn't interested in him and he said anything more than a friend. But you know, he always tried. He always tried to go after Laura. Oh, okay, that's a silly impression. A silly little impression of her. Hey, everybody. Got any cheese? Urkel loves his cheese. I wonder what Urkel's favorite cheese is. My favorite cheese? I don't know. Maybe marble cheese. I like marble cheese. Yeah, marble cheese is very good. Because it's got the white cheese and it's got the yellow cheese. It's got both cheeses mixed together to make one excellent cheese. And it's almost good. But you know what? It's not going to really happen. Nope. Because I am so awesome. And I pass that one, of course, like there is ever any doubt. And now, is that Labyrinth Zone? Act 2. I heard that they made a song to have a movie. Yeah, that's one thing I really want to check out. Because, like, and it's so fantastic. Jim Carrey plays Eggman. I was such a big fan of Jim Carrey. Like, before Lord Jameson came and picked me up, I would watch his movies all the time. And it was so much fun. Like, I watched Ace Ventura and The Mask. And I used to watch the show In Living Color. And it was awesome. I bet Jim Carrey has made so many great movies in the last, like, I don't know, like 20 years. Like, it's gonna be so good. I'm gonna go watch them all. I'm gonna go watch them all. But first, I gotta go play Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic. Sonic can really move. Like I said at the beginning of this, he's got an attitude. He's the fastest thing alive. Sonic the Hedgehog likes his chili dogs. Yep. He loves chili dogs. And well, I love chili dogs too. I never had a chili dog before. Sonic the Hedgehog introduced me to chili dogs. But then I had chili dogs every day. Every day for a full year I ate chili dogs. And then I kind of got sick. But you know what? That's okay. Because I ate lots of chili dogs. Chili dogs are fun. And I had so much fun eating the chili dog. And I was just like Sonic. I would eat the chili dog. Maybe that's why I got sick. Because I would eat the chili dog. And then I would run around for hours and hours and hours. And pretend to be Sonic. And then, you know, I really annoy my parents. Because they're like, Hey, hey, Sega Kid. Stop running across the room. You're going to destroy everything. You're going to hurt yourself. Don't run with those scissors. And I would always run with the scissors. Because running with scissors was fun. But that's something that I heard you shouldn't do. Because if you run with scissors, you could get stabbed by the scissors. And I once knew a guy that got stabbed by scissors, and he wound up in the hospital. He was okay though, but the scissors really hurt him. And like, he was scared of scissors after that. Somebody like at school one time, could give him some scissors, like to cut some cardboard, for some sort of little project, and he freaked right out. He got so scared of the scissors, they had to, they had to like state him. And he went to the hospital again, you know, after, after he had an episode, and he started to hurt people. He was running around with the scissors, like a crazy maniac. That's actually, like, the, it, was, it was probably the coolest day of school I've ever had. It was so awesome, it was so fun. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't remember that. Oh, the memories. That was a long time ago, though. That was, like, 150,000 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Robotnik's got so many cool little enemy creatures, and they're all robots too. Kind of like Dr. Wily. I wonder if Dr. Sonic, I mean Dr. Sonic, <laughs> it's silly. I wonder if Dr. Robotnik and Dr. Wily ever got together and made plans to take down Sonic and Mega Man together. Because they kind of both have the same MO, right? Like they're both using all the different robots and kind of all these crazy little creatures to try to destroy their enemies. And both of their enemies are blue. You've got the blue bomber. And you've got the blue hedgehog. I love Mega Man. Because Mega Man was on the Genesis. The Mega Man Wily War. And I played that a lot. I don't know about the Nintendo Mega Man. I haven't played those. I bet they're not nearly as good as Genesis Mega Man. Because Genesis rules. 
and Nintendo drools. That's right, baby. Genesis is all the way. Genesis has flash processing on Nintendo goes real, real slow. Nintendo talks like this. When go with Sega, you get like this, you go super fast, everything goes awesome, and you're like, yeah, Sega, 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 oh, I love Sega, okay, this is one thing that I really love, I love these bonus levels, like, I've gotten all the Chaos Emeralds before, I've done it a few times, actually, I've been in the game and I've got all the Chaos Emeralds, nothing much happens, you get something, you get something cool with Sonic 2, but, you know, in Sonic 1, it's actually kind of disappointing, but it's like they kind of realize that they're like, you know what, let's give them something to do in Sonic 2. Because in Sonic 2 you get Super Sonic. And Super Sonic is all gold. And it goes really, really fast. And he's so invincible. And he's so gold. And oh my god, Super Sonic is cool. But you only get Super Sonic in Sonic 2. In Sonic 1 you just get a little bit of a different ending. Not much of a different ending. Just a little bit. Because normally at the end of the game, when you beat the game and you don't get all the chaos on those, there's, a, there's like a little a little animation of Robotnik and he's juggling all the emeralds that you didn't get and he's kind of mocking you and say, Look at me, I got all the emeralds but you didn't. And you go, damn, I want all those emeralds. And then you get them all and then Robotnik doesn't have anything to juggle at the end. So he's like, this is boring. And he goes off and he plays some Mario Brothers. Yeah, because he's a villain and he likes Nintendo. But not like me. I'm the second kid. I'm a pure heart. That's what they call me. Pure heart. Well, maybe not. That's what I call me. They made fun of me for that. Called me a Captain Planet fan. I don't get it. I've never watched Captain Planet. Okay, gotta make it past this little gap here. Awesome! Okay, that's cool. Just gotta jump on that. Oh, I'm back in the water. It's a water park of fun and adventure with Sonic the Hedgehog. So much fun. So enjoyable. But I gotta be careful. Just like that. And you know how you be careful in the Sega Genesis Classics Collection? You use the rewind feature. Yeah, yeah. This set, this set has like a, a, a rewind feature to all the games, so you don't have to die anymore or get any, you know, nitpicky game overs. No, you can beat every game you want because you can just rewind all your failures away like they never existed. That's what I'm doing. I'm the Sega Kid, and I'm awesome because I'm gonna beat all the Genesis games. I couldn't beat before. Okay, I gotta get a come on. Come on! That was, oh, got it! Oh, good. That was close. You almost got me. Oh, boy. Now that was scary. Careful there. Oh no. Oh no. It's been a long time since I've played Sonic the Hedgehog. It's been like 150,000 years. I've been going on so many crazy adventures with board gamers. You know, through time and space. Because that's what you do. Okay, I think I remember this part. 
Robotnik's gonna come. And you don't actually have to beat him this time. You just have to chase him. Chase him to the finish line without dying. Okay, Robotnik. I know you're around here somewhere. I remember this part. Well, maybe he's a little further up. I guess so. Oh, there he is. I wonder if it's actually possible to beat him. I don't think so. Not in this section. You just gotta chase him. Make sure you don't die. Oh no. Yeah, that's... it's tricky. You gotta be really careful. Okay, come on, jump carefully. That's good. Now, a little bit more. Oh, that was close. Oh no, I gotta get some air. I gotta get some air. Okay, hurry, hurry. Come on. I can do it. I can do it. Yes. I knew I could do it. There's a robotnik. Silly robotnik. Tricks are for kids. And that completes Labyrinth Zone. Wasn't that a fun level? I really like it.